Hello everyone, it's Deluxe and Victor. Today I'm going to show you using the era code tool how to design slab. Yeah, so as it's a long process, I'm going to make it as a two video. In the first one, I'm going to do uh, from the cover calculation till this uh, finding the area of steel which we're going to provide, and then in the second video, I'm going to show you do the all the checkings for the AS we provide yeah so in the slab design procedure the first thing is we have to determine the design life and then we have to assess the actions on the slab so in the assess the actions on the slab we can use these computer packages such as eDevs or SAP 2000 we can assess the actions on the slab after that we have to determine which combinations of action apply and then we have to determine the loading arrangements and then assess the durability requirements and determine concrete strength. After that, we have to go for the calculation of cover. So in the calculation of cover, as I told you earlier, I'm going to use the Eurocode to also get some support from the CRA manual and how to design Eurocode book. So I'm going to use that book to refer all the data from the tables and charts because that's a uh, book is very give us a basic idea and give us a simple explanation to do the procedure so for finding the cover calculation we have to consider three things durability requirements fire resistance and bond requirements so if you see the durability requirements i'm going to assume it as xc1 condition for c2025 concrete so the c minimum for durability will be 15 millimeter and allowance for the design deviation delta C will be 10 millimeter. Therefore, C nominal will be 25 millimeter. If we see the fire resistance, the minimum axis distance 15 millimeter, which we get it from that chart in that how to design manual, and the bar diameter is 10 millimeter, which we assume. Therefore, nominal cover will be 15 millimeter. We see the bond requirements. Cover have to be greater than bar diameter. So the bar diameter we assume 10 millimeter. So C nominal have to be greater than 10 millimeter. So by considering all these things, so I'm going to choose 25 millimeter as the cover for the C2025 concrete. Let's move into the slab design procedure. As it's C2025 concrete, the cylinder strength FCK will be 25 megapascal. Concrete tensile strength FCTM 2.6 megapascal, which I got it from the chart in that how to design manual for C2025 concrete. Yield strength of the steel FYK 500 megapascal. Width of the slab 1000 millimeter assumed. Shorter span 3277 millimeter. So, in this particular, I chose a residential house and then I did the analysis, SAP 2000 analysis. In the analysis, I found out that the critical condition slab, and then as it's two-way slab, I chose the shortest span, that is 3277 millimeter. Thickness of the slab, 125 millimeter. Before we did the initial design, and the initial design, it could be more than the value, but by increasing the reinforcement, we can get uh, reduce it. So in this particular one, I'm gonna use 125 millimeter. Cover we found earlier 25 millimeter, bar diameter assume 10 millimeter. The first important thing is effective depth, which is we're going to use it till the end. So the effective depth this is equal to thickness of the slab, deduct the cover minus bar diameter by two. So thickness 125 millimeter, deduct the cover 25 millimeter and bar diameter by two, 10 by two, five. So 125 minus 30, 95 millimeter. And to find out whether the slab is two way slab or long way one way slab it have to be get the longer span to shorter span ratio so longer span 4878 in my particular case and the shorter span 3277 the ratio is less than 1.489 so this is two way slab for the loading arrangements we can calculate this using the computer packages sap 2008 tab i did it manually sulfate 3.125 finishes one so the total lead debt will be 4.125 live float 1.5 this is the residential house partition one so 
so the design lot will be 1.35 into debt total debt into 1.5 into total wife that is 9.31 ultimate bending moment i use the sap 2000 software and finding the span moment 15.85 kilonewton meter and support moment 12.4 kilonewton meter then we have to do the flexure design actual design design for bending at the span so k is equal to m over b d squared f c k so m we found that's for the span is 15.85 i'm going to design for the span and b 1000 millimeter d phi found out effective depth and f c k is 25 megapascal so the k is m over b d squared f c k we found 0 0.071 which is less than k dash so it is singly reinforced and then we have to do the lever arm set the equation set is equal to d into effective depth into 0 0.5 plus square root 0 0.25 minus k over 1.134 so the k value we found 0 0.71 we put all the data so it's going to be 88.625 and we have to make sure whether is it satisfied so it have to be less than 0 0.95 into d 0 0.95 into d we know 95 it's 90.25 it's less than that so it is satisfied after that we have to find the as required as required equation is m over fid set m we know 15.89 fid is 500 over 95 into set we found now so if we put all the data we will get 411.135 this is the AS required so what we have to do is get the table so in the table 10 millimeter bar we use the AS required is 411.135 so 10 millimeter bar AS have to be 411.135 so we have to choose 448 right it have to be higher than the value so for the safety and conservative approach so 448 is the as we going to provide area of steel we going to provide so with the spacing of 175 millimeter so we going to use 10 millimeter bar with 175 center to center spacing and the area will be going to provide is 448 millimeter square thank you